All right, so like I was saying, with this bio weapon, okay, this bio weapon that they're using is called Satan. S A T A N, which stands for silent assassination through amplified neurons. Okay, here we go again with your neurons. Okay, what is it that they always try to do something to people's neurons? All right, okay, so if you read up on this actual bioweapon, because that's what it is. You can Google it. Go on Google. You don't have to believe me. I'm just a crazy guy, all right? Go on Google. Look it up for yourself. Type it in. S.A.T.A.N. Okay? And and then go ahead and put uh, Project Soul Catcher. Or you can put in uh, Robert Duncan, and it will give you all the information you need, okay? So, let me explain this a little bit. That bioweapon named Satan has more bioweapons. One of them is called Christ. One of them is called Tammy. All of these have capital letters and dots behind each letter, with each letter meaning a word, okay? So you have Satan, Christ, uh, Tammy, you got Gabriel, like the Archangel Gabriel, you have, um, you have so many of them. Oh yeah, the Edom, R-H-I-C, Edom, all right? So with all of those different names, okay, you got Christ in there, you got Satan in there, and then you also have Edom, which is uh, short for Edomites, okay? So they're naming their stuff, all right? This is their uh, bioweapons, which are computer-to-brain interface weapons, all right? So the actual codename Satan uh, program it is exactly the same as it was described in, you know, as it was described in the scriptures. Okay, if you read up on it, it will tell you that the bioweapon named Satan, what it does is it tries to basically get the person to kill themselves, kill someone else, uh, you know, commit crimes and, you know, things like that. So is this like the same Satan that tempted Jesus, you know, tried to get Jesus to kill himself and uh, try to get him to turn, uh, what was this? I think it was like stones into food, like uh, bread or something like that. You know, he was playing mind games with, with Jesus, right? That's what he was doing. Okay, it's this this uh, program is the same thing. This is why I tell you guys in my V2K, all it does is it does uh, uh, creates confusion. All right, so with these with this program, what I noticed about it that's also scripture. It tries to get you to do all those different things to destroy you, to kill you, basically in the shortest amount of time, okay? And this is exactly what the scriptures say about Satan, okay? In the last times, in I think it's, uh, it's actually in uh, the book of Revelations, 12, 12, chapter 12, verse 12. It's, if you look it up, it says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, all right? They found these uh, this radiation at sea, uh, a guy named Alan Frey found that he can hear uh, electromagnetic waves at sea. They was working on 
a radar on a on a ship, on a, I guess a navy ship, whichever one that that's in the water, that's working on the ship, and that's when they found out he was working on the radar, and he come back and he told them, hey, I can hear voices in there, and that's when they they uh, found out that they can use electromagnetic waves to uh, send uh, voices into people's heads, but what it really is is those electromagnetic wave frequencies are going into your frontal lobe, all right? And that's what uh, it vibrates your cerebral cortex inside of your head, and it seems like you're hearing it, but if anyone who's on V2K, they know that the voices are not like schizophrenia they are external so it comes from the outside so you could be uh say if you drive down the road and someone's in their car beside you and their engine is making a lot of noise that ready that electromagnetic wave frequency catches that sound and it bounces off of that sound okay so with that being said Let's go a little bit more into this short time. All right. So if you go to the book of Revelations, Revelations is the last book of the Bible. Okay. So if that doesn't tell you something, then you just retard it. All right. And I hate to say it that way, but that's what you are. If you think that the book, that you think that the Bible is a fairy tale and oh, that was a long time ago. It ain't nothing going to happen and all that stuff like that, right? But you look up and look around you and see what's going on. And you don't believe, you know, what the scriptures say. I don't want you to believe me. Go read the scriptures. Revelations 12 and 12. And it would tell you that Satan knows that he has a short time. All right. So Satan, the actual cold bioweapon has been programmed Okay, so this this program is coded and it knows that it needs to kill a lot of people in a short amount of time. Just flat out like that right there in the scriptures. And if you go and read uh, Robert Duncan's book, whether he knows the scriptures or not, which I believe he does, he knows scriptures because I've actually heard him quote them. But when when they was making this, uh, I doubt if they really was looking at uh, the scriptures while they was, well, yeah, because they named it Satan. They named one Satan, they named the other one Christ, and then they named one Gabriel, okay? So they know scriptures, you know, and they know who they are because they named one of the one of the code bioweapons Edom, all right? And this is one that has to do with uh, removing your memory, Trying to take your memory away. Alright. Well anyhow. Uh, so Satan falls from the sky. Like lightning. Alright. Okay. So if we know that lightning. Is uh, just another form of electricity. And what it does is. When you see lightning. You think it, it just shot out the sky. But actually what happened is. That lightning come off the ground, went inside the cloud, and then came back. But it happened so fast, it looks like it just shot out the sky. But it's actually already on the ground. This is where Satan has been at the whole time. Because this, uh, this is where the Most High God put him at. In scriptures, to be on his belly, on the ground, to eat dust. Okay? They spray in the air with nano dust. It's like it's like Satan on steroids, okay? And we're breathing it in, okay? And then they create this electromagnetic wave frequency bioweapon, all right? This bioweapon that's attacking your brain straight into your frontal lobe. Your frontal lobe is where? In your damn forehead, okay? So you're going to have people in the last time they going to, a mark is going to pop up on their damn forehead, right? And then you have the, uh, okay, you got the people of, the, of God, 
that's going to have a mark on their forehead. And then you have the Satan's children that who's going to have a mark on their forehead. Okay? So, if they're sending electromagnetic waves in your fucking your forehead, right? This is what they're doing. Can we not say that these electromagnetic waves, okay? Listen, electro, electromagnetic, electric, okay? Electric, okay? Same thing as Satan, lightning, electricity, same thing, all right? So, it's either they trying to make you, you know, because it, what, what this thing does, it tries to... Uh, it basically wants to change your mind and replace your thoughts with evil thoughts. Okay, and you, and you know, if you don't believe me, just look it up. That's what it does. It gives you evil thoughts of other people that's maybe uh, uh, connected to you, or you know, uh, uh, other people who you know they you know they uh, got something to say and they don't like you, so they add those people into your v2k so you always hearing vulgar stuff all day so they basically trying to drag you to hell with them and uh want you to be like them as if god doesn't know that those thoughts and those comments are not even yours but this is how crafty they they think they are okay so if we know that in the book of genesis you know, God made him, got made the serpent. He crawls. You know, he was uh, made to be able to get on his belly. Okay, lightning is already in the ground. It's it's all around the earth. The whole earth is an electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. All right. So now we got that out the way. Now we have these people who hear the voice and they think that it's God. All right. So that's going into the, that's actually these electromagnetic waves going into their forehead. All right, so we're going to go into saying children. What do your children do? They play all the day long, right? Every day you wake up, they right there. When you go to sleep, they right there. It's the same thing with V2K. When you wake up, it's there. When you go to sleep, it's there. But guess what? There's actually someone operating this. It's not just the electromagnetic waves. It's somebody who's operating those electromagnetic waves. These are Satan's children here. Okay? And they ain't even listening to it. Because I know that they listen to it. Because the handlers pass on messages to the perpetrators. Okay? The operators pass on messages to the handlers. All right? It, it all goes through in a hive mind. All together. All together. Okay? All of their brains are linked together. And this is not, you know, a small group of people. Okay? Because if it was God's people, it would be a smaller group. This is the majority. This is the magnitude of the people. Okay? Almost all of the planet is messing and dibbling and dabbling with this uh, brainwave stuff. Everybody who has a cell phone is spying on targets. Okay? They use, use your cell phone as a portal to spy on you at your house. Okay? I've been at warehouses where the whole dang on plant was actually a, a part of uh spying on me and I was probably like only the one target in the building at the time so it's definitely not God's people that's doing this all right because we know that he's going to save slim to none you know it's not going to be the whole planet he coming to get but I know who do want the whole planet Satan does all right and this is exactly what this is this whole uh 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 thing with with the cell phones with all the different technology all of it goes off electricity all of it goes off of uh, electromagnetic waves and the electromagnetic spectrum all of it okay you got them putting up all these satellites everywhere all right i, I see uh, uh one of my subscribers 
she digs in good and find the the IP addresses. It's all linking through uh, through the satellites and through all these uh, 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 different communication uh, networks. Okay, straight to your phone. But then you got research centers, medical centers, all in your all in your phone. See what I'm saying? So this is this is what's going on. But a lot of people they don't want to believe it. They just want to keep getting the money for it. Keep thinking they doing some greater good when they not, you know, they're not doing a greater good. You know what I'm saying? When I boil down to it, they just helping out the agenda that the elites want. And that's for them to kill off each other while they go hide. You see what I'm saying? And eventually the ones who are doing the killing that's helping them kill, they're going to kill them too. They all, it all of us is dying through the, through these all this, all this electric uh, electricity stuff, all this electromagnetic stuff. You know, they just don't have it as severe as we got it because they getting they getting a a, a get out of jail free card right now. All right, but anyhow, those are just my thoughts. You know, maybe I'm just this crazy dude. You know, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, go read Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, all right? And go and look up the acronym Satan. The, uh, 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 the, uh, it's a computer to brain interface bioweapon named Satan, okay? S.A.T.A.N. And then put in Robert Duncan. And then just read it yourself. And it's going to tell you that the program code name Satan is designed to kill off as many people as possible in the shortest amount of time. Okay? That's all I got to say.